Angel deck. And we're going to combine this deck with the Rider Waite deck for further clarification as we go through each step of the Celtic cross reading before us. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless those born under the Sun sign, Moon sign, and Rising sign, or Rising sign, for Aquarius. Love energies, please, for August 2017. Pardon my gum, it keeps my mouth moist, or I'll be drinking water through the whole video. Okay, so the card representing the current life path for you guys here on Earth at this time is the Allow the Situation to Unfold Naturally card. And that's being crossed by the Positive Thinking card. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So, <clears throat> not trying to control a situation and just staying optimistic. Handing your worries to spirit and praying for great blessings to come of a situation. In your thoughts position, some of you are asking for and accepting support from others like me. And in your foundation, you have healing family issues. So, Spirit is speaking to you and letting you know that your love life is going to benefit when you finally forgive someone. It doesn't necessarily need to be your parents, but maybe it is a family issue. <clears throat> Again, I'm combining the Rider Waite deck for further clarification. Aquarius, August 2017, love, 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 love. All right, yeah, so there may be something <clears throat> judicial going on. Maybe something about fairness and equality, balance. Maybe giving to or helping others or something that has to do with children. Let go of the situation. Allow it to unfold naturally. Stay optimistic. Don't worry about what others have to say because you're living it. It's your experience. In fact, this battle is useless. Stay optimistic about your love life too. In your thoughts position, let your friends help you. Think about things and look at things from every perspective before making any particular choices. And in your foundation, your love life is being affected as you forgive someone. How? Well, you're going to start to shine again. You're going to start to feel happy again. You're going to start to feel fulfilled. In the recent past, some of you have maybe been trying to call in your soulmate through your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations. But you or someone else may have destroyed that by not being honest about something. In the recent, oh, in the next couple of few weeks, okay, some of you are thinking that someone is your soulmate and or you are trying to use the energies of the magician to manifest a soulmate. By learning from what you've learned in the past, by taking time to look at things from every perspective, by letting go of control issues and about staying optimistic, healing a situation so that you can find fulfillment. In the next four to six weeks, you have control over just flirting, extending your lighthearted energies to others and not going in full force with your sword in the air. Put your sword away, slow your horse down for a drink of water and think about things for a little bit because more happens when you give it to spirit than when you try and control it via a human way. Spirit's trying to tell you guys that there is time apart or there may be time apart from your partner in the future. Maybe you'll have to work really, really hard to manifest and to bring together a soulmate. This could be a friend. This could be an occupation. This could be reconnecting with a family member. Hopes and fears. Hoping that you can allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Fearing that you'll continue to be feeling down and out and sad and poor. Know that as you hope for something, you can actually manifest something. Because if you know exactly what it is you're hoping for and you repeatedly ask for it, it could very well come. 
depending on many, many things with your karmic wheel. So in your outcome position, we have a situation that involves marriage. I don't know if you or somebody else is in a marriage or a relationship. Maybe some of you are trying to manifest something with the soulmate. And through forgiveness and passion, you start to heal. By not fighting against a situation, you can find balance once again. And bring back together something that you were separated from. Wondering if it's a bunch of fantasy and false promises or is this situation a strong, true relationship? The card overlooking the entire read is your self-respect is what makes you more romantically attractive. Now in this picture, this woman's husband is the most wealthy, most attractive man in town and all, he's going to go travel the town for a year and perform for others and she knows that he'll be faithful and she knows that if he doesn't return that her self-respect is going to continue to provide for her because she'll be providing for herself in her own inner strength and that is what keeps him coming back it's through your self-respect that you will finally receive the messages you've been waiting for could be in the next eight weeks Express your love. Go ahead and make a romantic gesture. Even if you don't know what's going to happen with the situation, take off the blindfold and look at the situation for what it is. Do some research if you have to. Trust and have faith with spirit, in spirit, that a new path that comes in is something you can get excited about and take a risk with. Just try and clear up what it is that you're confused about in your thoughts when it comes to a love offer. Is it a true love offer or is it not? Well, you've got the High Priestess energies here to help guide you to the truth, to help give you clarity. And maybe after some time, you can use your final sword to have an honest discussion with someone, to clearly decide what it is that you want and to learn from the way things have been to create how things are going to be. Because once you clearly decide what it is that you want, spirit will bring it to you very soon. Some of you are trying to release an ex who could be an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Rising, or this is just you trying to clear your energy from someone you were connected to that maybe you had to become distant from. That could be any sign. That could just be you guys saying, I need to release this energy. And Spirit's providing you with the temperance energies to heal and allow divine timing to take place. Yes, you may be dealing with a situation with a child who is difficult and maybe even deceptive. Children are that way sometimes. And you'll have to maybe be working slowly but surely, connecting with Spirit to actually manifest in the next three months a brand new path it's it's a blessed path it is something brand new and blessed giving birth to a new life a new relationship a new career something because you're finally freeing yourself it may take a while this is a process this has gone out quite a distance now with all these cards so it's time to take back control of your thoughts your life everything it's start to it's time to start getting that wheel of karma back in alignment Release something and maybe even the way it was in the past. Honestly, have a discussion about where we're going to go from here. Get the messages you need so that you can start moving in a new direction or so that you can get clear with someone about whether or not they are in this connection deeply with you or not. Conversation, conversation. And healing with family members. So in a three card summary to my left, we have the Rider Waite deck in the first week and a half to two weeks. You guys may hear something or find out some knowledge that's going to make you feel a little bummed out. It's going to make you feel like you're putting an end to a connection. This could be the family member. It could have you feeling really down and wanting to jump in your train plane or automobile and get the heck out of town. You may want to come fiery in on all gears to someone who's closed off. 
could be the closed off person is an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, sun, moon, or rising, male or female. It's a general reading. But Spirit's saying, if you want to create a new path of love with this person, then hope, wish, and pray. And then listen to the energies of the Queen of Cups. Listening to your intuition, having and using the strength card energies to decide what it is you must do next. Some of you are really contemplating moving. Because you want to offer your heart to someone new and are contemplating a new business that maybe some of you have even heard that you could have the opportunity of working for. In the next couple few weeks, this is wanting to have words with someone. Please be kind as you walk away. They're going back to their path. It is what it is. Wait for a while till you have clarity of a situation, till you have clarity of your own situation, maybe finding out a leadership position or moving into a better position of pay. Either way, take the steps to put closure on an old path. Understand what it is you had to learn from that path about yourself. Once you learn that spiritual lesson and you don't have to go back around and around again, you can confidently step into this new world portal and live a different life. Start changing and creating a new life for yourself. Here you are sending messages out, others sending them back to you, you receiving a lot of attention and acknowledgement and putting closure to an old path even though it is going to keep you pretty sad and down in the future you will have a new path when it comes to a new business location or a home life there could be children involved gosh just make sure you guys know what it is you want in your path for sure be happy and excited about it in the next four to six weeks yes letting something go and moving into a new path. Maybe you're letting go of someone. This could be an old leadership position that you had maybe. Maybe this is really feeling and getting into the emotions tied into this actual transition to a new place and position and here you are still looking back at the past saying, well, should I give this one more chance? How am I going to move forward when my head is full of thoughts? I'm going to open my heart. And you may have to even give some money to someone who's a fire sign, Sagittarius or Leo, Sun, Moon or Rising, male or female. So you're going to be going within. You're going to be trying to think about what's on offer. What are your decisions? And getting excited about a new path that offers a happily ever after and new money. So a new path could be in line for some of you guys. I feel like quite a few of you guys. It's amazing how many people these energies touch and how accurately they, they affect and how people recognize them as they are transpiring in their path over time. So I'm going to pull some cards from the, uh, no, I'm not. I'm gonna pull some cards from the Angel Answers deck by Doreen Virtue. And ask Spirit to please provide those born under the sun sign, moon sign, or rising sign of Aquarius with clearly defined messages. For love, love, love messages for August 2017. All right. The card representing your current life path is meditation brings answers. This is a big time for spiritual transformation, for connecting back with spirit, listening to spirit. Maybe there is something you need to reconsider at this time. In your thoughts position, spirit is saying no, or you're saying no. And in your foundation, it feels like something is perfect timing. I just received a message someone someone needs to communicate with kindness and offer loving words to a situation the card representing the current life path here on earth at this time is meditation will bring you the answers to your happily ever after or to a new business opportunity location business at home, small business, it's going to be something you're celebrating. 
and then you'll be reconsidering something. You'll be having to make a decision, but you have your blindfold on. So it's like you don't want to even see the situation for what it is. Look at the situation. Do your research. In your thoughts. Maybe some of you wanted to be with an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, sun, moon, or rising, male or female. Or you weren't in the leadership position or making the money you wanted to. And Spirit's saying no. Everything's happening according to perfect timing, and that is why you're being left in the dark. Spirit wants to handle this for you, if you have been asking your angels in the past. It doesn't come down to having bad words to say. Bad words just bring bad karma. It's about speaking and asking your angels for things to come into your path. In the next couple few weeks, it looks like some of you will be listening to your intuition. And it's your intuition that will guide you as to which steps need to be taken as you move forward. It could be that you have to listen to your intuition with regards to someone who is a fire sign. Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, sun, moon, or rising, male or female. And Spirit's saying in the next four to six weeks, don't stop. Keep meditating about this new path, this new opportunity, even though you're reconsidering. It's important to understand that there needs to be fairness and equality. There needs to be equal balance. Spirit is speaking of romance. Hmm. About one ending and a new beginning. Maybe letting go some of you of an earth sign and moving towards a fire sign. Hopes and fears. Hoping to improve your health. And receiving the messages of the Empress card. Meaning in the next three months you have the ability to manifest. To actually give birth to something new and beautiful. Whatever it is. When it says improve your health it's almost like I want to say create a journal of how you're going to improve your health and how things changed your health along the way so that you can help others who are dealing or experiencing the same type of situation. Manifesting, giving birth to something important. And there it is in your outcome position. Opportunity is shining down on you. Why? Because you guys chose to be and use the temperance energies where the temperance angel can wrap her red wings around you, help you to heal, help you to pause, take a moment, go back and forth, think about things, and be impatient so that the opportunity comes into you through perfect timing. Some of you may be connected to a cancer Nope, not a cancer. I'm sorry. Looking at my little notes here. Scorpio. All right. So, and if these messages connect, great. If they don't, whatever. I can pull your direct messages if you email me at josiek42 at gmail.com. It's a half hour video for $40. $80 will get you to the front of the line, baby. Okay, so the card overlooking the entire read is in the near future. All of this stuff's going to transpire. You're going to meditate. You're going to reconsider. You're going to say no to a position of, that's being offered, I think, of leadership, of good money. Because you don't know if you should. You're stuck in the dark. You're wondering about perfect timing. You've asked your angels instead of going in full force with your swords. Good job. Listening to your intuition when it comes to what steps to take about a happily ever after about maybe eventually moving into a leadership position, but having to maybe deal with someone who's a fire sign, Sagittarius or Leo. Don't stop trying to main bal uh, remain balanced, fair, equal, just with others. Romance could be with a cancer. Could be that that is a new path or you're putting closure to an old path. Either way, your health is improving. So I'm thinking you're starting something new by putting an end to something old. And in your outcome position, your opportunity comes in because you guys chose to be patient. You allowed yourself to wait. You knew that in the future there would be helpful people and that there would be some sort of coming together to discuss some sort of circumstances. Could involve finances. Know that there's something better. 
coming your way or as you guys are moving forward to offer your cup. Make sure that cup is full, not half empty, before allowing it into your path. In the end, Spirit's saying, you have the energies of the Strength card to be successful. And that about one year from now, you guys are going to be stepping out into a new path that you're very excited about, that you're willing to take a risk about. Because you allowed the Queen of Cups to come in and to help you to get clarity through your intuition as to when it was time to open your heart and move forward into a new path. All right, so, and I feel like this new path could be with a person, but there's going to be all kinds of opportunity attached to that. I think you're listening to your intuition also being like the King of Wands, setting goals, accomplishing those goals, looking at particular due dates for yourself, that you're setting for yourself. So it's like you're being patient, and while you're being patient, you're manifesting things with the uh, Empress Energies. So in a three-card summary to my left, we have the Eight of Wands. I'm going to try and move faster because I know I'm trying to make these shorter just to see how it works for some people. Eight of Wands. Um, quick moving energies. Things finally coming in quickly in the next eight to ten weeks that will lead you to happily ever after as you are remain, uh, uh, trying to connect out to people maybe at a distance and receiving messages back. There's a blessing when it comes to a new path in finances and career, but you're feeling down, trying to look at things from every perspective, looking back at the memories of the past, trying to get clear about your future direction, and dealing with someone who may have been dishonest. The High Priestess is going to help for you to get clarity and maybe even balance when it comes to a connection to a kid or someone who could be a fire sign, Sagittarius or Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female. In the next couple few weeks, here comes that new exciting path with lots of opportunity and passion tied to it. But someone's not opening up. Maybe it could be an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. But at some point, I feel like you guys just decide you're going to move forward even though people don't support that idea or are jealous. Know that you will be following a path that will fulfill you guys to the fullest. Feeling like a kid again, loving all your surroundings, having beautiful surroundings and lots of money. But right now you're just working hard, wondering if it's all just a fantasy. Know that you can manifest that if you so choose, but is it truly what you want? Are you attached to someone from your past who isn't healthy for you or with you, for you? You can wish a new path to manifest eventually here, but you guys are really up in your head. When it comes to, I want to say it's a family situation. But we do have abundance, and we do have travel, and we have enjoying holiday time together with others. So you guys are keeping yourself busy somehow while you're waiting for something else to get processed. Yes, I see Aquarius and Cancer. Star card, wishes, hopes, dreams, prayers, and moving. Taking the steps towards prosperity and happiness. Hmm. So I'm going to pull the card from the Mary Queen of Angels deck by Doreen Virtue real quick so I can close this read. And your word of prayer. This is, uh, yeah, Mary Queen of Angels deck. Is open your heart. I allow myself to feel a full range of emotions especially in the forms of love. And I'm going to read this for those of you who want to stick around. Sorry. This is a card with a very important message for you. Spend less time thinking and analyzing and more time feeling and experiencing. Mother Mary asks you to open your heart more. She realizes that you may have some fears about being emotionally hurt and she offers to comfort, support, and to guide you. Of all the components of your spiritual path, opening yourself up to experiencing love is the most essential. 
Make the conscious choice to risk being hurt and drop your emotional defenses. Be vulnerable and real and allow others to get to know the true you. Mother Mary and Archangel Michael act as your shield so that you can be open and protected at the same time. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon. Take care and God bless.